It's not an easy road, it's like Buju uh. My girlfriend Kuku, one cam like Juju Baby, I was paid in full, it's like Lulu You don't know, do you? Dopey them like voodoo do, do, do. Now I see what hell them can't defend it Why? They had to get the shop and just hoping Prince look at dead it I feel offended, we don't feel your pendant With them four fingers up, we don't feel the tension Niggas rapping pot, Mario Bros, you Luigi the most Doing the most, my dopey time turn a boy to a ghost Niggas are boss like gas king, kinda get if I'm a cut though There's no floats, ironic, it's funny that we don't run jump But any day like we can run a fan Right now you know that we ain't fucking playing Grind time East Coast, we gotta <laughs> 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 Listen, the, the essence is in the building, y'all. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Hey, yo, man, I hate intros when battle rappers don't say their names. Make some noise for Chris McCoy. Yeah. <laughs> you all right? What up? What's what good, everybody? Yeah. yeah. We flipped the coin. Marv won. He chose the source to go first. It's on him wherever he's ready. Oh, take it, take Marv it easy. Run. Take it easy. Uh -huh. Take it easy. All right. Now, Marv, you might not even remember this because this shit happens all the time. But we've actually battled before. <laughs> and you lost. And 50 grand was on the line. <laughs> I, I bet you guys still get sad every time you guys think of it. World <coughs> Rat Champions. Oh, yeah. Had a nice ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 20 years they've seen me grow. From Freestyle Goat to GT Mode to KOTD 3.0. 2020, I'll evolve again. But it ain't gonna be easy though. Cause even when Marv doesn't win, he's been known to steal the show. <laughs> but we all know who the GOAT team is. I'm tired of the nonsense. Y'all took the tapes. We took the prize for the contest. Mm. And your pride in the process. Mm. While I spent time on my conquest, you spent time trying to conquest. And now I'm gonna put it- Wow. Oh. 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 talk. Well, I spent time on my conquest, you spent time trying to conquest, and now I'm gonna put an end to this whole rivalry concept. Cause see, a rivalry is a perception game based on the way that we think. Let's use the Bulls and Jazz as an example and y'all try making the link. See, to the Jazz, the rivalry was real cause they had to win to claim they were kings. But to the Bulls, it ain't the same thing. Y'all were just in the way while we were on our way to a ring. Woo! But I'll leave them alone. Nah, fuck that. I'll leave him alone. Let's go. Nah, fuck that. It's doomsday. I'll show Marv the Bruce Wayne and send him through the floor. He'll get his roof caved. They think I'm running out of gas. I got a full tank. Check the fuel gauge. Still walk on water versus the current title holder of Tsunami or the new wave. Mm. Uh, off top, I'm too paid. You a cup full of loose change. But I've always seen the glass half full. Shit, who made Kool-Aid? <laughs> you can't... <laughs> who made Kool-Aid? Oh. Lou Kane kick reminds you of them two-on-two -two tapes, cause after you get stole on, all he can remember is a bootleg. Yeah. Every move made is razor sharp. Every move made is razor sharp. You some bitch they named the matriarch. If this Mark is smart, he'll change his guard, cause I came here to take a charge. Yeah. Aiming for the stars like Aikman's arm. Meet your maker, Marv. The barrel ain't poor and maker's mark. I'm not a Saint Bernard. <laughs> I made my mark. You played your part. That's how the past happened. I could have wiped you off this card like stop the transaction, but I'll body bag Marv. I know y'all thought it can't happen because those rings went to my head, but I'm still Dr. Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Make some noise for the yeah. 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 one. I say you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and it's winter. That's her. Look, ever since the day the flyer dropped, I done peeped my phone lines buzzing. People hitting me like, y'all ain't never locked? 
No, nah, nigga, I know y'all fronting. Well, I got 13 in this clip, nigga, and I'm gonna give them all this dozen. Oof. Nigga, this battle was born by the river in a little tent. <laughs> Bitch, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> hey, you walking around with two rings. Yeah. And the fact is, you owe me one. Now, y'all about to see two stars worn, but ain't neither one of us Obi-Wan. You went from being a king to a lowly pawn. He playing with my name. This nigga know we wrong. We punch different. When mine's land, he gonna be asking who got some teeth like that Obi song. I get it. Everybody a soldier until they find out Bodie home. 15 years you've been a factor. You damn near approaching the Ginobili zone. <laughs> you firing back at everybody taking shots. But ironically, you keep ducking the homie Chrome. Oh. Well, fuck it, let's get to it. Yeah, I took him. <laughs> 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 shit. I say, I took him. I was Marlo Stanfield with them fucking tapes. Oh. <laughs> Nigga walked right by you. Like you wanted to be one way, but it's the other way. <laughs> Nigga, close range shotgun, his body over there, his face gonna go the other way. Oh, Nigga, I'm a fuck of his fucking day. <gasps> Load management, I ain't come to play. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck them touchdowns, I don't live in the past. Nigga, I don't even want to poly with bunnies. <laughs> you get it? I say, nigga, I say, nigga, I don't even want to poly with bunnies. But I will have your bird ass eat in the back. I'm out here Ozzy Ozzy and dummies. Oh. Oh. I'm dumb enough to still throw hands with any man that tries to confront me. Mm. Nigga, I'm out here fucking up cities looking for the hero. Come on and play with Solomon Grundy. Oh. Oh. You might as well click the battle off if all you want is the old bars and the face jokes. Nah, ain't no reservations, chief. I brought the peace. Pipe. I want straight smoke, mm. nigga. A uh, hundred yards away, I will wash his mouth out with this great scope. What? I say, nigga, this curry versus curry. I snuck the 30 in to get rid of this fake goat. Oh. <laughs> I saw somebody online say this wouldn't be a classic. I said, I bet it is. <laughs> That's if I let him live. Uh -huh. I'ma pull this pistol in. You gonna hate this whistle worse than Peppa Pig. Oh, 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 oh. Nigga, it's three things promised in life. That's death and taxes and my legend status. Nigga, the fat shit won't work. Of course I'm in the kitchen. Nigga, where else do you teach chef in classes? Oh, yeah. That's part one, y'all. Make some noise. Yeah. Bless you. All right, look. I'm gonna need y'all to pay attention. Let's get super deep. <laughs> okay. Alright, look. A generator that could keep a buzzsaw running. A Teflon vest to slow down any gunshots coming. Two bodyguards to make sure that he does not touch me. Some broad's puppy that was one part husky. Brand new furniture. Just got comfy. New car. New house. One small country. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. I ain't even throw a punch on, buddy. That's just a list of shit I bought with all my jump off money. Oh. What's up? Rushmore, you better practice carving. You want to stand with me on this mountaintop like Savage Garden. Mm -hmm. yeah. Martin Scorsese explained why I've been on top for a lot longer. It's because seeing Marv will never be as good as watching The Godfather. So, so, why, so why would I bother? Hell raising tonight like Clive Barker when he'll die from something light like Rise of Skywalker. But he's never been solo, always with his life partner. I'll hit him so hard it makes Forrest Whitaker's other eye wander. Oh, no. 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 You better try harder if you want redemption for this. I got knives out. Spoiler alert, it ends with a twist. Ooh. Effortlessness, head spinning like the exorcist bitch. Oh. You'll, never, you'll never win, dude. Hands down, revenge of the Sith. Oh. I was, 
I was born in Brent. I was born and bred for this shit. I'm nothing like these other guys. Lex offered you a plate. You said the money kind or Kentucky Fried? <laughs> but look, the money kind or Kentucky Fried? Butterfly knife I call my third round because it's cut and dry, but before I know how sharp it is, I need someone to run it by. <laughs> Marv's better as the funny guy and you all know this. But if I'm still the cat this dude wants smoke with, I brought XQZ and random. That's two long noses. Whoa! So before you lose all focus, just know this cat's no threat. That's two rounds and I ain't use a fat joke on this fat joke yet. That's round two, make some noise for the song. Yeah! You fucked up the loyalty! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Marv! Let's go, Marv! Hold it down, yo! Dick. <laughs> In the world where battle rap is wrestling, I put the smack down on bitches. I don't back down the pivot. I put black gowns on bitches. <laughs> Shut up! Look, in the world... <laughs> She's hot, man, my bad. Look. In the world where battle rap is wrestling, I don't back down. I say, I'm in the world where battle rap is wrestling. I put the smack down on critics. I don't back down the pivot. I put black gowns on bitches. Mm. Nigga, I got a hundred rounds. I spin your cap round and twist it. Mm. Cookies, huh? <laughs> you <laughs> pussy. I did, I did. <laughs> Look, cookies, huh? I guess. But now you're gonna be brown around the edges. You found it when I said it. Nigga, you gassed up. Nigga, everybody from your town gonna get unleaded. Oh. Yeah. Now I'm in the middle. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no. No. Look, now I'm in the middle. Niggas wanna play me like a fiddle and question me like Mario until I pop up and hit the riddle. I'm nice, Pete. Facts. Facts. Thank you. <laughs> I say I'm nice, Pete. I'm downright gracious. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm downright gracious. People talking shit about me being fat. I feel like they downright waitsis. <laughs> <laughs> I will make your mouthpiece obese like Della Reese. Mm. <laughs> I'm here to tell the streets that you niggas is hella sweet. Nigga, your bars need work. You dummies need better beats. Nigga, I'm here to flood the streets and now you wrapped in a set of sheets. You see them? The flames hit different when you looking in the hell. Nigga, the chair roll different when you push in at yourself. Nigga, I've never been broke. I've never been broke. The work way different when you put it on a scale. On a scale of one to ten, you looking at a twelve. What? Gate shotgun, pushing pellets through your nails. I'm never settling, I'm better than you veterans that's frail. Mm. Bring the metal in, I'm... <sighs> My bad. You got it. <laughs> My weight got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> 15 years I've been waiting, and this is the game that we gonna play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I'm the all source. Nigga, your face looks like a golf course. Let 
2007 be a lesson for you that losing to the best and being second best is the best you can do. But it's been a long time coming, Marvin. Let's finally get to the truth. Whose idea was it to steal the tapes? Was it Quest? Was it you? I've been waiting 13 years to shake the hand of the man that stole them, so who put the plan in motion? Don't be modest now, fucking Danny Ocean. <laughs> they, put the they put the tapes for ransom too. 50 grand, damn, how's that shit going? Cause me and Il got all our 50, so I assumed that, oh, you still haven't sold them. <laughs> damn, dog, y'all treated those fucking tapes like a hostage negotiation. <laughs> Called Harry from a payphone and disguised your voice like, we have got your tapes locked in our homies' basement. <laughs> to the empty mailbox that's in this location. <laughs> Come alone today at 10 or never see the tapes again. <laughs> well, they never saw the tapes. <laughs> and you both ain't make a cent. And now being a thief is what you're forever being associated with. Over a decade's past, all your biggest moments came and went. No wonder you blew two major deals, Marv. You can't negotiate for shit. Oh <laughs> but I hope you take a hint because it's sad what we see. How you've Managed to peak at bottom tier, average and weak, the same 2003 trash on repeat, just stuck in this one shitty loop like a Cassidy beat. But I'm happy to be the one to prove that Marvin ain't shit though. So let Kamala face Klitschko. We are not the same zip code. Mm. You'll catch a knockout shot from the modern day Kimbo, and now Detroit has to watch one more body shame Lizzo time. Oh. <laughs> That's the source, make some noise, yo. Yeah. I say, yo, going, oh, around, oh, oh, oh. I say, yo, you are a king. Thanks, man. <laughs> when it comes to rhyming words, and a line of nerds to make them feel like they gotta pay for them high priced designer turds. <laughs> there ain't no substance in that shit. But when I tell your people that, then I'm absurd. Fuck this battle. This is gonna be the place where the crime occurs after I make them bite the curb. Mm. Nigga, now you in a massive pickle. I have to get you. Grab this pistol and find out who the fuck he talking to like Travis Bickle. Mm. Mm. You talking to me? You, you. You talking to me? <laughs> We're two weeks in, and this is going to be the highlight of your year. The plan is to plant you in the dirt. So say bye-bye to your peers. I wish Piff James or Mozzie or fucking even Cy and I was here. <laughs> Y'all ain't peep the plot? Y'all ain't peep the plot? Nigga, I'm a wolf, he a biter. And we both in the twilight of our careers. <laughs> Nigga, people talk about him playing cards for a living like they know what he's making. He always posting these high price games. I mean, I suppose he could be caking. I mean, I don't give a fuck. That's the statement that he chose to be making. I'm just happy that when it came time to gamble with his career, Pete rose to the occasion. That was fucking crazy. I hate when people crazy. give you credit. Okay. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Pete rose to the occasion. Man. You a smoker. You probably think the green make you stronger. Mark Ruffalo, chill. <laughs> Before I make a coat out of your skin like Buffalo Bill. <laughs> yeah, you a dynasty. But when Marv leave, he like the Buffalo Bill. <laughs> yeah, you a deer in headlights. No. I'm nasty. No, yeah, nigga, you a deer in headlights. Come get something metal stuck in your grill. I hate when people give you credit. Like you just father the scene. Like people like Idea or Juice or even M1 Hotter with Schemes. You are a personification of perception. With you, everything is not what it seems. I clap viciously. Black history. They're going to riot after I take a shot at the king. You want people, you want people to think you writing with such, a, with such a critical pen. Like every word you mine in is a lyrical gem. It's four bar setups where you literally run out of physical wind. <laughs> I say, nigga, you only want your face on a mountain 
so you can rush more syllables in. Lex told me, Lex told me, yo, come do this on oh, iBattle. Oh, I got a bag. It could be dope. I'll get shy to give you one of his big ass shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell Dunks to loan you a peephole. <laughs> I got a bag, it can be dope. I can get I can get shy to give you one of this huge fucking <laughs> Look, I can see if Dunch can loan you one of his pea coats. I said, but I really wanna rap. You know Lex. He said, well shit, come do and spit it, dog. I said, man, it's I wanna get something off my chest. He said, use the platform and, and get it off. I said it could get personal. He said, well, as long as you don't get no kids involved. So, Pete, from the bottom of my heart, nigga, your face looks like a wiffle ball. I'm like, you see this? Let's go. I'm like, you see this? You see this? Look, look, you see this? That's personality, Pete. That's why you super rappers lose every time you battle me, Pete. Your rounds is like Arnold Palmer's. <laughs> Only half of it's sweet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Nigga, I will take a trip to lift your veil up. You gonna have to retreat. Mm. Nigga, y'all thought, thought Pete was gonna beat me. The fuck is you crazy? Dude, I am a motherfucking legend. And I took the tapes too. <laughs> <laughs> In the first ship, we see a man seated. Please note the aerodynamic form. Jets are clearly seen. The spectators are protecting their faces with their hands. They are obviously terrified. Terrified. Terrified.